Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Part 46 here on SolarLearn.com. We're going to go over constructors. So uh, class constructors are special member functions of a class. They're executed whenever new objects are created within that class. And the constructor's name is identical to that of the class. So here we have a class my class. Our constructor will be named my class. Um, and it has no return type, not even void. So these are just ways to initialize, you know, sort of functions or methods or, you know, data assignment right upon uh, class instantiation or creation. Uh, okay, so it's automatically called. So when is the constructor called? Okay, so uh, when a class object is created. That's what it is. Uh, constructors can be very useful for setting initial values for certain member variables. So default constructor has no parameters. However, when needed, parameters can be added to a constructor. This makes it possible to assign an initial value to an object when it's created, as shown in the following example. So here we can, you know, build out this class that takes in a, a um, you know, nm of type string, and uh, we can sort of similarly use that throughout our implementation of this class. Awesome. So fill in the blanks to declare the class my class with its constructor. So we'll say uh, class my class and uh, we'll also have an implementation of it. It's going to take in an arg, and we'll say data is equal to the arg. So when creating an object, you now need to pass the constructor's parameter as you would when calling a function, right? So here we're, um, you know, we're creating this object right here, and we're passing it David, so it's going to go to this implementation of the constructor rather than just the basic my class. Uh, we've defined two objects and defined two objects and use the constructor to pass the initial values for the name attribute for each object. And it's possible to have multiple constructors that take different numbers of parameters. Cool. So fill in the blanks to declare my class object with its constructor. OK. Uh, right. In the main function, create a my class object and pass it the value of 14. All right. Awesome. All right, guys, so that was it for part 46. Pretty quick. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.